We are a team of six electrical engineering students working on a senior design project. It is a device that could potentially allow severely hearing impaired to perceive auditory information through small vibrations on the torso. So we are creating a vest that takes in information from a smartphone. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog and maps it to patterns of vibrations that uh, a person with severe hearing impairments could feel and learn to interpret as speech or any other audio. The only thing I really care about is how's it, uh, what's happening right now. Uh, it's just um, so we're working with the Eagleman Lab at the Baylor College of Medicine to do this. We're interested in something called sensory substitution, which means the brain doesn't care how it gets information as long as it gets it. So we think of visual information going in through the eyes and auditory through the ears, but it turns out you can send that kind of data to the brain via other channels. So we're working on a project here in the Eagleman Laboratory with Scott Novich spearheading this for his thesis work. And the idea is we're taking sound information and converting it to patterns of vibration on the torso. So Avi here is wearing this vest that the senior design team has designed. And when there's sound in the environment, a series of motors is vibrating, which means that he is feeling the sound information as vibrations on his back. And the key is that deaf people can come to understand the language of the vest. So by wearing this and practicing and by having these patterns that represent different sounds, they can come to hear what's going on. They essentially can circumvent a broken auditory system. The engineering challenge here is that you have sound, which is this very fast, one-dimensional time-varying signal, which is actually too fast for your skin to pick up on in its raw sort of sen its, its raw sensory state. So the name of the game is how can we use math to kind of beat the signal into shape such that the receptors in our skin are able to pick up on all of that needed information. So the, the basic trick we use is to use signal decompositions to essentially slow the signal down in exchange for increasing the dimensionality, which is why we have a grid of little tiny vibrational um, actuators on this thing. Um, and that is sufficient for relaying um, enough information, in this case, for people to understand speech. The lab at the Baylor College of Medicine have prototypes already that they're using for research. And they came to us and uh, told and gave us these uh, constraints, these engineering constraints uh, that could allow this vest to go into the market for uh, consumers to put on the vest and off the shelf and gain these abilities to perceive new forms of information. So uh, part of the process of uh, the senior design has been to develop a business plan and uh, dive into the business side of things, learn about how to enter a market, do some market analysis. Um, so that has been a great uh, learning experience for us as a senior design team.